Last week on Thursday Night Thunder, Robbie Keaton shocked the world, debuting the brand new Rampage Dodge and taking home his first Thursday Night Thunder Championship over Son of a Digger. Can he hold on to the checkered flag here tonight to close out week two of the October season? We're going to find out next. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. And leave this video with a big thumbs up here tonight because we're about to go die cast monster truck racing right here on Thursday Night Thunder. And that is the truck to beat tonight, the Rampage Dodge at a pontoon beach, Illinois. Robbie Keaton looking to hold on to that flag, but let's take a look at how round one shakes down. On the first half of the bracket, Jurassic Attack takes on Flash Fire, then Max D will take on Wildflower. Bulldozer takes on the brand new Excalibur machine and to close out the first half of round one, the Titan Chevrolet will take on Tropical Thunder. A lot of great racing here tonight. The tracks changed up a little bit since last week, but up first, we've got Caden Wilson and Jurassic Attack now set to take on none other than newcomer to the MTA scene, Mark Galloway and Flashfire, the brand new Chevy Astro van out of Atlanta, Georgia. He's ready to rock and roll here. Knocked out in round one last week. He is now ready for competition in week two. Looking to turn things around over the old Jurassic attack there in the far lane. Who's gonna go on to round two competition here in week two of the October season? Jurassic attack taking on flash fire. Green light going down now. Both of them get a good light. Up and over, no man's land here in Mark Galloway. The flash fire machine picks up the round one win over Jurassic Attack. Caden Wilson had his hands full the whole way down and Mark Galloway and Flashfire pulls the trigger over that last set of cars. He gets the victory here in round one. Now up next in round one competition, Bethany Kilby, Wildflower, the American Throwdown champion from earlier this year, ready to rock and roll here tonight as she gets now set to take on Peanut out of Paxton, Illinois, driving maximum destruction. He's ready to go here in the near lane. Boat Trucks had a hard time last week. They're looking to turn their season around here tonight. We're about to find out who's going on to round two to meet up with Flashfire. Boat Trucks stays at the line now. Green light going down off the line. They go. Slightly to Maxi Wildfire coming back. Turn it over and kill me. Rolls the truck over. Going across the finish line. Peanut got all bobbing up there on that runway, getting ready to hit the first jump. We're going to go back down now to an MTA replay and try to figure out just exactly what happened. Off the line, you see Max D kind of had a slight lead. Watch him right here getting bobbed up down the straight stretch. But look at the far lane wildfire. Looks like the rear suspension unloaded over that first jump, and she had nowhere to go but upside down. Luckily enough, had enough sense to slap the brakes and bring the truck back around. We're going to see wildfire back in round two competition. But next up in round one, John Katie Uxer, bulldozer. Now set to take on Johnny Retlaw in the brand new Excalibur machine. The former two-time Thursday Night Thunder champion looking to get victory number three here tonight if he can. Bulldozer ready to go. Had an awesome September season to John Kadiuk's there. He's looking to shoot for the stars here tonight on Thunder. Boat truck stays at the line. Bulldozer takes on next caliber. Who's going to round two? Here's the green light off the line. Bulldozer got it, but that's Calvert coming back. What a wheel stand. Johnny Redlaw rode the wheelie all the way across the track. He pogoed it in no man's land and kept his foot to the floor and rode a wheelie all the way across the finish line. Ladies and gentlemen, can you believe that? I don't think I've ever seen that on Thursday Night Thunder. Let's go back and take another look here off the line. Bulldozer did jump him, but Excalibur comes back on him. Watch your up and over the first jump. Watch him pogo on the rear, stick some foot in it, and ride the wheelie all the way across. What an incredible piece of driving by Excalibur. 
That was just beer awesome. And ladies and gentlemen, next up, Chad Legit, too legit, driving Tribal with Thunder. The 2021 Maximum Carnage Champion is now set to take on the man who's come so close so many times, Zach Jones in that beautiful 1972 Chevrolet, better known as Titan there in the far lane. But Chad Legit, another driver that's been out here for quite some time, he's looking for his very first Thursday Night Thunder Championship. Can he knock off Titan in round one? Green light going down off the line, they're even. Coming over, no man's in, we got a race. And I do believe Chad Legit got the win over the Titan Chevrolet in the far lane. What an incredible race all the way down from start to finish. Real legit there, put it into the wall, but he gets it shut down. And we're going down now to our photo finish to declare a winner. And it's going to be Chad Legit, Tropical Thunder in the near lane. We'll see him back in round two. Now next up here in round one, we've got the brand new Incredible Hawk Machine driven by Hunter Craddock. Made an incredible debut last week. He's looking to top things off in week two. However, Blake Mahoney out of Hagerstown, Maryland, Overkill Evolution is ready to go here in the near lane. Blake Mahoney's been out here for a few months, still coming up a little bit short on his Thursday Night Thunder Championship. We look to see him in victory lane sooner than later. However, Hunter Craddock's got an incredible piece of equipment, an incredible hawk there in the far lane. Who's it gonna be? There's a green light off the line. Evo's got a lead. Hawk's coming back home. Evo gets crossed up over no man's land, goes to the center of the track. And Hunter Craddock, the incredible hawk, is your winner out of the far lane. That brand new truck seems to be running well for him there as the rookie made its debut yet again last week, ladies and gentlemen. Hawks running strong, but next up in round one, we've got none other than Ray Acuna out of Kildo Hills, North Carolina in the Grave Digger. Now set to take on Jason Waddell in the wild thing. He got his first Thunder Championship at the end of the September season, which punched his ticket right here in the October season. He had a tough break last week, turned the truck over. He's back in action in week two, ready now to take on Grave Digger here in round one. Who's it gonna be, Grave Digger? Wild Thing off the line, they go! Wild Thing with the lead, the Digger's coming back, but Wild Thing comes back on him at the end, turns it over! Waddell hits the band stack at the end of the track, Turn the truck over, and I do believe he had just enough to outrun the Grave Digger here in the near lane. Let's go back down now to the MTA replay and try to figure this out. Watch him off the line here. Waddell and Wild Thing getting a little crossed up there. Down the straight stretch, gathers it up. Watch him up and over no man's land. Both trucks with some great air, and across the finish line, your winner, Jason Waddell in Wild Thing. After he turned it over there, hitting that van stack, trying to shut it down. We'll see him back in round two, but who's he going to meet there? Because next up is longtime MTA veteran driving the Wild Hair Chevrolet. That's Rich Wagner, the 12-time champion, looking for victory number 13. However, over here in the far lane, that's Walker Stevens, the 2022 redemption champion, driving son of a digger. And may I add, last week's finalist, here on Thunder. He's looking to go back there yet again tonight. But he's got to knock off the veteran in the near lane. Green light going down. Off the line. Wagner's got to lead up and over the car. And son of a digger. Look out. Rich Wagner's upside down. I was going to say, son of a digger was throwing it down across no man's land. He pulled it out in the end from what I could tell here in the booth. But Wagner got crossed up on the last set of cars and turned it over. Back down now to a photo finish. Your winner, Walker Stevens and son of a digger knocks off the veteran here in round one. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to close out round one, Braylon Mullins returns in Medusa out of Orlando, Florida, ready to rock and roll, but she's got her hands full, taking on the Thursday Night Thunder champion, Robbie Keaton out of Pontoon Beach, Illinois, in that big black Dodge, better known as Rampage. Had a couple of rollovers last week, but still, his crew got it together and pulled out the win. Dodge versus Ford to close out round one. Here's the green light now. Rampage got her on the line. Medusa's coming back on the car. And Raylan Mullins did it. She knocked off the champion in round one. Rampage is on the trailer. The flag will move on here in week two of the October season. What an incredible race by both drivers nonetheless. But the Ford outran the Dodge. And some great racing action to close out round one competition. Round two's coming up next, but ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking to get in on the action right here on the MTA YouTube channel and drive your own truck, listen up because we're about to tell you just how you can do it. 
What's going on MTA fans? If you're looking to get in on the action right here on the MTA YouTube channel, look no further. I'm about to tell you guys just how you can sign up to get in one of these races. Head over to the link in our description and that's going to take you right over to our Facebook page where we hold registration for all of the MTA events. And hey, while you're there, crush that subscribe button. Be sure to turn on the notification bell so you stay up to date with everything that MTA is doing. From new custom truck builds to special events and giveaways, you don't want to miss any of the great action MTA has to offer. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram and TikTok, and I'll catch you guys down the road. Back now on Thursday Night Thunder with round two competition. After an exciting round one, a couple of trucks rolled over. They're back in action for round two. The crew has got them trucks running strong. But up first here in round two, Flashfire takes on Wildflower. Excalibur will take on Tropical Thunder. Then we're going to see Hawk take on Wild Thing. And to close out round two, Son of a Digger takes on Medusa. Now coming to the line first here in round two, we've got Bethany Kilby and Wildflower, the 2022 American Throwdown Champion, turned it over in round one, is back in action here in round two. Now set to take on Mark Galloway, the rookie in Flashfire, the Chevy Astro van there in the far lane out of Atlanta, Georgia. He's got something to prove here tonight, but Kilby's looking to prove her worth as she is the American Throwdown Champion. Green light going down off the line, they go Flashfire, pull the lead, Wildfire's coming back, and what a race, Kilby turns it over again, the second time tonight. She has rocked up and rolled over. The truck went end over end across the finish line. I'm not sure who did get the win looking back at the photo finish. Your winner is Bethany Kilby and Wildflower. And ladies and gentlemen, hopefully they can get that truck fixed as the rear suspension unloaded on her again, flipping the truck end over end, coming off that first jump and over no man's land. The MTA track crew and officials are down there now, rolling her back over. She's A-OK, -okay, but now it's going to come down to crunch time for the crew to bring that truck back for semifinals. But up next in round two, returning Johnny Retlaw, the former two-time Thunder champion in the brand new Excalibur machine, now set to take on Chad Legit, too legit. Tribal with Thunder ready to go there in the far lane. Still working the bugs out of that brand new truck, which debuted a couple of months ago. He's looking to take out Excalibur here in round two. Who's moving on the semis, folks? Green light going down now. They're even up the line. What a race here up and over No Man's Land. And Johnny Retlaw and Excalibur pulls out the win over the last set of cars. Johnny Retlaw is your winner. Excalibur does move on. But folks, Chad Legit was charming at his back door the whole time. Tropical Thunder, however, on the trailer. Next up in round two, Jason Waddell turned over Wild Thing in round one. He's back in action in round two, however. He draws up against this bad man with Gemma right here. Hunter Craddock and the Incredible Hulk. This new truck has been running on a rail here as of late. Incredible Hulk debuted just last week for the October season. Wild Thing debuted for the September season. Two fairly new trucks gonna throw it down off the line. They go, Hulk pulled a big time lead on him. Hunter Craddock pulls the trigger over No Man's Land. Trying to shut it down, gets into Jurassic Attack, but Waddell and Wild Thing had nothing for him. Right there off of that first jump, the Incredible Hulk moves on to semis. Wild Thing moves on to the trailer. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to close out round two action, this kid is on a mission. Walker Stevens, son of a digger, ready to rock and roll here in round two, taking on Raylan Mullins in Medusa. Now Medusa knocked off the current Thursday Night Thunder champion, so we will crown a new checkered flag holder here tonight. Can Medusa keep up the hard work and knock off Son of a Digger here in round two? We're about to find out. Down the straight, let they go off the line. They're off to a good start. Son of a Digger's pulling the lead. Medusa was hanging right there with him. Stevens now trying to shut it down. Gets in the Titan there at the wall. Nonetheless, he does pick up the win over Medusa to close out round two competition. And ladies and gentlemen, we're heading down now to the pits of the Wildflower team. Kilby has turned that truck over twice tonight, going end over end. They've done a rear shock adjustment on the truck, hopefully preventing it from going end over end for a third time tonight as they are getting ready for semifinal competition. Other than that, the truck's running sound. They're ready to take on the competition. Here to kick off semifinals and taking a look at our matchups, 
Wildfire will take on Excalibur. That one ought to be a barn burner, ladies and gentlemen. Then we're going to see Incredible Hawk take on Son of a Digger. Two brand new trucks making their debuts this season, and they are running strong. But up first in semis, Bethany Kilby again, the 2022 American Throwdown Champion. Turned the truck over twice tonight, looking to redeem herself a little bit. Now set to take on Johnny Redlaw, the brand new Excalibur over here in the far lane. Rode an incredible wheel stand in round one. He's keeping the truck shiny side up all night. And he's hoping to keep that up. Now set to take on Wildfire here in the fear lane. Oh, truck stays at the line. Here's the green light. Who's going to the finals? Excalibur with the lead. Wildfire coming back. What a race across the finish line. Both drivers letting it all hang out here in semis. They're hungry. They want that championship win. What an awesome race here in semifinals. Let's go down to our photo finish. Who got the win? Your winner, Johnny Redlaw and Excalibur in the far lane. Knocks off Wildflower. But who does Excalibur meet in the finals? Walker Stevens again on a mission. Son of a digger's coming to the line. Now set to take on again the bad mama jamma, the incredible Hulk. Hunter Craddock ready to rock and roll, looking for his first Thursday Night Thunder championship victory. So's Walker Stevens in the far lane. One of these rookies is going to walk away here in the final round of Thunder. Who's it going to be? Pro Truck Stage, here's the green light now down the straight stretch. They're even. Son of a nigger's pulling the lead. Hawks coming back. Another great race in the semifinal bracket. What an awesome showdown here to close out semis. Son of a Digger takes on the Incredible Hulk. We're going to go down to our photo finish yet again, ladies and gentlemen, to see who won this race. Was it Son of a Digger or was it the Incredible Hulk? Your winner, Walker Stevens and Son of a Digger. He will make his second final appearance in the October season. And now the showdown of showdowns as Son of a Digger will take on Excalibur in the finals. It's what we all come to see. Walker Stevens, the new kid on the block, got his 2022 Redemption Championship just a couple of weeks ago. But Johnny Retlaw, the old time veteran here in Excalibur, a brand new ride which debuted just last week, ready to rock and roll in the near lane. One of these drivers is walking away with a victory. Will Walker Stevens get his first championship here on Thunder? Or is Johnny Retlaw going for championship number three? Both drivers are hungry for victory here tonight, but only one is going to walk away champion. Ladies and gentlemen, son of a digger takes on Excalibur. Week two of the October season. Who's it going to be? Here's the green light now down the straight stretch. They're even up and over the cars. And one guy, Johnny Redlaw, got in trouble a little bit. Walker Stevens capitalized. What an incredible race here in the finals. Week two of the October season, folks. What a showdown. We don't know who got the win just as of yet, but we're going down now to the MTA replay. Watch right here, ladies and gentlemen. Off the line, boat trucks cut a great light there. Dead even all the way down the straight stretch. You can see him running for it. Up and over, no man's land. Excalibur in the near lane, a little too much height in the front end. And it may have costed him, as you see it right there, the victory here in the finals. So ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Walker Stevens and son of a digger on your first Thursday Night Thunder Championship. And now, ladies and gentlemen, as we take a look at the overall point standings, closing out week two of the October season, Jurassic Attack, Max D, Titan, and Bulldozer hold down the latter half of the bracket. Over here at the top half of the bracket with tonight's win, Walker Stevens and Son of a Digger is your points leader so far, but Robbie Keaton and Rampage still behind him with 90 points. And rounding out your top three is Hunter Craddock and the Incredible Hawk with 90 points for himself. The points chase continues for the October season, and we got a long way to go. Thank you to everybody for coming out and watching week two of the October season right here on Thunder. And if it wasn't for you guys, we would have gave this up a long time ago, and I truly mean that. Be sure if you haven't already, crush that subscribe button, and I'll catch you down the road. See you next week. Standing tall up in victory lane, I done brought the pain, and now they're screaming my name. Yeah, everybody saw me rock the place. Now there's flash bulbs are popping and mics in my face. In my face, always giving the crowd what they need. Now they're wearing my shirts, front row to nosebleed. Yeah. Now the crowd forms is what it's all about. Signing all the raps until the lights out. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's about that. It's about that. It's been a long time. Uh -huh.